Hey guys, welcome to another video and today we're going to talk about how you can learn how to code. Now, a lot of people try to, you know, go on to college and learn how to code. They take different sorts of courses and they think that it is one of the most hardest things to do. But that's not true. Learning how to code is a skill and literally anyone can do it. I don't care if you are a doctor, if you are a lawyer, if you are someone who is, you know, pursuing economics, so anything, it could be anything. But if you just want to learn how to code, you can do it. And there's a right way to do it, but I would say that there's really no one right way to do it. But there are a couple of wrong ways to do it, and people do follow some of those wrong ways. So if you have been following some of those wrong ways, you can definitely kind of, you know, make sure that you move a little bit closer towards the better ways. That's what I can say in this video, right? So how do you actually learn how to, how to code? What is the one skill that you need that, you know, you just need to code? And do you need to go to college? Do you need to take courses online? Do you need to, you know, start projects? What do you need to do? Right now, let me actually give you some background. I've been coding for about four to five years now. But before that, I used to have no idea about what coding is or what it can be used for. Now I have a lot of code, I basically have a lot of code on my GitHub. I have a lot of code that I've written, mostly that's what I'm saying. And um, it's it's really simple for me. If I if I wanted to code the system right now, code a new website or build a backend for something really, you know, put in an algorithm in there, I could do that easily. Now doing that, you know, reaching from someone who was not able to even write a single line of code to getting to this point where about 10,000 users are using our website right now. It does take a couple of practice sessions, I would say a couple of, you know, good number of hours, but it does not mean that it would take you four or five years. It's different for everyone. So let me tell you how to go about the process, how to really begin as a complete beginner as a complete novice or maybe you're someone who is an intermediate who knows some of these things but not a hundred percent of this okay so when you're going to code when you're starting to code i believe the best way is to kind of you know build a concentration and understand that books won't help you all right so people take a lot of courses online they watch videos online they keep you know watching videos and they would kind of keep doing these courses or maybe they would just go into computer science classrooms and you know just sit down attend some courses over there but as a matter of fact, watching those courses, it's not going to help you how to code because truth be told, no one actually teaches you how to code. No one will teach you the format or the syntax or all of these things. No one will teach you how basically no coder is ever taught the format or the syntax or really, you know, the, the, the logic is what we focus on in computer science classrooms. And that's what you need to understand. All right. So the only thing that you need to have on your, on your, mind is that you are able to understand how things are working out you're able to understand algorithms okay? you're able to understand data structures all right these are probably the two only courses you need to to begin how to code and this is like i don't even know you can even do like you know one or two courses online you don't even need to go to class for that and these are the only courses that you would need to take apart from that there is no coding course that will teach you how you can you know write code how to how to basically print an integer or something of that sort or how to sort numbers or something there's really no class that would teach you that the concept is something that they would focus on but if you want to learn from the beginning how to code in python c java whatever it is i believe the the syntax is something that every coder has learned on their own and the only thing that the classes are good for are basically is to develop a thought process, you know, to understand that, all right, this is how things work around here. Maybe if you know you're building a game and you have a character, you know how to move that character left, but you want to learn how to make, make that character go right. Well, how do you do that? I mean, a lot of people would think that, I don't know, maybe I'll just change the code or something. Well, you don't, you don't really have to do anything over here. All you have to do is make the character turn left three times and that's right so basically it's really about the thought process you see the coding part the the really actual ex execution of the code that's something that no one will teach you and i believe the best way to learn that is to actually you know if, if you're a complete beginner and you want to get a job at a startup or even at companies like google you know they're hiring even if you do not have a college degree nowadays so if you just 
want to learn and you just want to, you know, like for instance, if someone comes to me for an interview, what I look for is that either they have some significant experience or they have some projects. Okay. So if you're a complete beginner, you would want to focus on building projects that can show that you know how to work. Okay. That you know how to really go about the process, really how to think. And if you've already implemented something, let's say if you have a website which already has a few users on it, well, I would know that you are really far off in the process. You know how to do things. You know how to build systems. You know how to kind of, you know, do signups and all of that. You know about databases, all of these things. So there I already got to know that. Okay. But there's, you know, the, the thing with programming is that there's, it's a different sort of a career, really. So in this sort of a career, there's like, you know, a variety of options so it's not like you can only have a backend of python you can also do that in c you can also do that in java so it depends on you know a lot of a lot of times it's really about finding the right fit like when i'm interviewing someone i'm seeing if the kind of stack that they work on is really well is really the kind of stack that we work on over here at ymbrad right so it's mostly about really finding the people who have worked on the same kind of stack and really if you understand just one stack you can actually understand other stacks it's perfectly fine if you know how to code in c you will probably easily understand how to code in python but no one will actually teach you how to like there will be no class on how to really you know code in python there is no such class how to program that's that doesn't exist in my world and for most programmers how they do it is that they would just kind of think about some cool project and while they kind of implement it, they kind of keep on, you know, just looking up the process. All right, they know the thought process that, yeah, this is what I have to do next. They kind of break the steps, you know, basically they kind of break the project into 10 different parts. And for every single part, they can kind of search on Google if they don't know how to do it. And they find out the answer. All right, this is the syntax. This is how I do that. Okay. And they kind of just go about it. So it's mostly about kind of really, you know, sitting in front of the laptop for a lot of hours you cannot cannot absolutely cannot manage to be distracted if you're if you have some things on your mind if you're listening to music when you're even learning i mean when when like someone like me i'm proficient right now so if i i, I can really code fast with music but if you're listening to music and you're trying to understand the syntax that's just not gonna work so all you have to do is sit in front of the laptop you know get yourself some red wine get yourself some coffee whatever that works for you you know and just start coding just start building something just start and if you do not even know the syntax, what you can do is you can just go on and read the documentation and you can just understand the basic syntax. And from there, you can just, you know, kind of do Google searches. So it's mostly about how you, how, how much ability you have in sitting in front of the laptop and trying for hours relentlessly. You don't, you don't back down and you keep on, you know, just going. So <laughs> a lot of times this can, this can happen if you do not have a super, um, interesting social life that might be one of the uh, ways that it happens but again it just depends on you at the end of the day if you have that willpower if you have that concentration you will find the time for it and if you can find the time for it definitely you will see yourself code like doesn't matter if it takes three months or three years but you will be coding and you will be super proficient and every day you will learn something new it's a great journey right so one more thing about coding is that you have to keep on evolving over here, right? So it's very different from the professions other than computer science. It's not like, you know, in, in the business world or something, you keep on getting more and more experience. And the more experience you have, you kind of, well, you're a big deal then, right? But in case of a coder, if you're coding and you keep on gaining some experience for, let's say, 15, 20 years, what happens is, is that you start becoming obsolete the reason is that there's new technologies coming out every single day and if you don't really keep up with the process if you don't really learn new technologies and it's the same thought process like for now what I'm doing is I'm trying to build a react native application for our um, website so what we would have to do is we would have to change the whole website code we'll have to you know kind of uh, really think about the Android and the iOS aspects of it and the only way I know how to do it is not by going ahead and buying a book on React Native, but by actually practicing. 
So I'm going to take up a dummy project. I'm just going to work on it on the side. And once I start learning that, all right, this is how you do it. All right, this is how you perform this task. Then when I know that I have enough knowledge, because I don't want to mess up my existing code base, like 10,000 users already using the website. I don't want to mess the website for them. So once I know that, yeah, I'm good at it now, then I can probably start doing more of that and kind of, you know, focus on building that part of the application, right? So it's really about the consistency. And if you are consistent, if you know what you're doing over here, don't think that you need to go to school for something like so simple as coding. You can just read two basic books or take two basic courses on data, data structures and, you know, algorithms, maybe even databases, just in case you're going for web development or uh, software development. Well, that's it. That's really all you need to do and you will be an absolutely amazing coder within the next one or two years. That's all you need to know, all right? Now, I hope this helps and I, uh, this is really my thought process that no coder learns how to code in school or in college. A lot of people think that if they take up a course introduction to programming, they will learn how to program. No good programmer who actually does program and who does code a lot is built in the classroom. You're only built when you actually, you know, try to work on projects which are really, really complex, which will, will kind of bring in complex scenarios in front of you. And you don't even know when you're starting the project that, all right, I'm going to be facing this difficulty. But you just kind of, you know, take, take it one step at a time and you face new troubles. And it just happens that, you know, once you, you just need to know how to search, that's it. And once you know how to search, and you kind of, you know, build up from there. Well, next time, chances are that when you see the same issue, you wouldn't need to search for that. So it's really about the concept of kind of repeatedly doing something again and again and again till it is kind of instilled in your mind and you don't have to search it again or you don't have to think about it again. All right. So now if I see an error in Django or something, I can instantly tell that, yeah, this is this is the thing that uh, we need to fix or this is the uh, this is what the computer is telling us so you need to understand the computer and it takes some amount of time to do that and really there are no courses for that all you need to do is be consistent every single day give it two three hours and you know kind of keep working towards it for me i wake up i open up my laptop and before i sleep that's when i close the laptop so <laughs> it's really about um sometimes you might not have a social life but it's really about your willpower your resources don't re go go on reading books if you just need to know how to code just read the documentation or just read a tutorial website don't watch videos people watch videos and they never really code that's not going to help you unless you actually try something unless you actually you know try out some different scenarios and keep on experimenting with it you're not going to learn how to code so if you if you don't have that mindset if you don't have that ability to sit in front of the computer for hours just build that, build that for yourself, you know, keep on working, keep on trying that, all right, just one more hour, one more hour. And before you know it, you will be someone who knows more code than probably I do. <laughs> so that's what, that, that, that really is what, what you need to follow. And I believe that you can do it. If I can do it, you know, I, I used to be someone who never even wrote a single line of code four years back and now I'm building such huge systems so it's very much possible and I, I wish you all the best if you do have some issues with that definitely contact me on my Instagram I would be happy to help you and I will see you in the next video I hope this helps you and until next time goodbye